Many, many years ago, there was a very, very poor farmer. It was just coming into spring. It was time to begin the season and he needed to plough his field. Now, the problem was, it usually took two horses to plough his field, but he only owned one horse. So he headed off into town looking for a horse he could borrow. Now, as he was on his way to town, he passed a lake. And by the lake, he sees an unusual horse. It was a little bit smaller than most horses were. It was coloured red and black. And it had very long, thin ears, unusually long and thin. And an unusually long and thin tail. And unusually long and thin legs. But nobody appeared to own this horse. So he thought to himself, oh, well, that'll do. It was, it was a long way still to go into town. This horse was right here. So he took the bridle he'd brought with him. He went up and he put it on the horse and he led it back home. And it didn't seem to protest or resist this at all. And when he arrived back at home, he took this new horse and he took his old horse and he yoked them both up to the plough and he ploughed the field and he had it done in half the time it was usually taken. And he thought it must be all down to this wonderful new horse. And over the coming months he began using this horse for everything. Any time he needed to go into town he would ride that horse. Any time he needed to haul a big load of goods to sell he would use that horse to pull the cart. Any time he needed to buy a big load of turf for the fire, he would use that horse to collect it and bring it home. And it did it all so fast and so well, it was faster and stronger than any horse he had ever known before in his life, despite the fact that it was smaller. Now one night, the farmer went to the next town to attend a Cayley, and he had ridden his horse there. And the next morning, because he'd been up dancing all night, he was exhausted. And he was riding his horse home, and he was just so desperate for his home and for his bed, and he needed to get there as soon as he could so he could finally get some sleep. And without thinking, he struck the horse upon the neck. And this horse, this wonderful new horse, it wasn't happy about that at all. And rather than picking up the pace and getting him home a little bit sooner, it tore off at a flat gallop. Not towards the farmer's home, but towards the lake where the horse had been found. And it ran and ran as fast as it could towards the water's edge. And when it reached it, it leapt straight into the deepest part of the lake. And feeling the splash and surge of that icy cold water all around him, the farmer tried desperately and in vain to extricate himself from the reins and the bridle and the saddle. But he was pulled under the water along with the horse. And under the water, he could see the horse's mane change into the fin of a fish. He could see the horse's rear legs and tail meld together into a long, scaly, sinuous fishtail. In horror, he tried again to untangle himself from the reins so he could swim to shore and to safety. But the horse grabbed hold of his arm in its mouth and pulled him down, down, down to the bottom of the lake where he drowned and was devoured by the horse. Now I'm sure there's a joke to be made somewhere around there about not looking a gift horse in the mouth, but I'll leave that to yourselves.